Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making cheesy spinach dip shrimp pasta and I tweaked this recipe a little bit. I'll tell you the changes I made. Um, we have cream cheese, sour cream, um, any kind of cheese, it doesn't matter. I just got queso, uh, quesadilla cheese, half and half, baby spinach, um, I got seasoning for my shrimp. This recipe originally calls for chicken, but I switched it for shrimp because it sounded better to me. Um, ranch, a packet of ranch dressing or uh, seasoning, and it also asks for uh, penny pasta, but I have rigatoni because it looked better. And then for like a side, I'm gonna have some garlic knots, but that's beside the point. Um, yeah, let's get into this recipe. It's super easy. First, you're going to boil your water. I add a little bit of olive oil to my water. Some people say it's wrong. That's what I do. You do you, boo. But I add olive oil, and then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Just so the pasta doesn't stick. And, yeah, let that boil. Okay, um, while you're boiling your water, you're going to want to cook your shrimp. So put your frozen shrimp. These are already technically cooked, so I'm just going to season them and warm them up. You can probably just let them thaw out. I'm going to do like the entire bag. Let's just do it. This is about 12 ounces. And you're going to let this and I'm gonna season it with this adobo seasoning. You can do whatever seasoning you want. I'm gonna heat it up on medium heat and I'll just, I know I should probably wait until it's cooked a little bit more, but you know, rules, what are those? Okay, while the water's boiling and the pasta's cooking and the shrimp is heating up, we're gonna do the mixture. So basically what you're gonna need is half a cup of sour cream or Greek yogurt. Who uses Greek yogurt? We want sour cream. Okay, let me get my measuring cup. Okay, half a cup of sour cream. There is half a cup. We're just gonna put a little bit more in. Okay, four ounces of cream cheese. So about half of this container, this is eight ounces. Let's do half of this. Fourth a cup of half and half. Okay. Oof. Fourth a cup. And five ounces of spinach, fresh or, oh, just fresh. Oh, it says frozen too. Okay, you can do frozen. I don't like frozen spinach, to be honest. So this is five ounces, so this whole entire container. I love spinach. I love a good spinach salad. Mm. Fun fact about spinach, it's high in potassium, or it's higher in potassium, so if you want to get potassium in, eat some spinach. You're welcome. Okay, let's throw these away. And then we're going to mix these together. my spoon. That was my British accent, guys. Okay, how are you going to mix this together? Oh, wait, I forgot this. Okay, girl. 
One package of dry ranch mix. Oh my god. See, I'm already forgetting stuff. Put this in. You're welcome. Don't forget that. Oh my god, I swear. I'm a mess today. I can't. I can't do this right now. Okay, now mix this together. God, if I was, I would be like, why does this taste so bland? Preheat your oven to 375. Gosh, I can't get it together today. Tastes like stress and teenage anxiety. You're gonna add the shrimp to the mixture and you're gonna also add your um, pasta. I don't know if I'm gonna add all of it. I'll mix that up and see if that's enough. Literally don't listen to what I said with the shrimp. I might not even put that part in because it was really dumb to add oil. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. I always get deep thawed shrimp. This is the first time I've had frozen shrimp. Yeah, this looks good. This will be good. Hopefully. It's not a disaster. I think that's enough pasta. Maybe I'll just add the rest. Ooh, or it can just go onto the floor, you know. Thank God my dog is up. Or he would definitely have ran. He would have been like, food? Okay, well, not the entire pasta because it went on the floor. Okay, we're gonna add this to the dish. Grease your dish. And then add it. Okay, you're gonna top it with your cheese. And you're gonna put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted. If you wanna leave it in longer, you can. And I will see you for the mukbang portion. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You already saw what I made. Um, it's basically cheesy spinach dip shrimp pasta and then I have a side of garlic knots that are still nice and warm so yeah let's get into this because I'm really excited for this it looks so good this is what it looks like up close Ooh. If you like the taste of um, ranch, you're really going to like this. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Yum! This is delicious. Ow. The thing is so hot. I'm trying not to touch it, so I'm like putting my arm around it. Ooh, it was a good idea to put shrimp in this. I feel like it tastes better than chicken. Well, I haven't tried the version with chicken, but I feel like it would be better. Mmm. You can still try it with chicken and see which one you like better. I just was in the shrimp mood. I decided to use a regular fork because in my um, 
big CD recipe I used to spoon for a little bit, like a huge one that's made for cooking. And a lot of people in the comments were like, why don't you just use a fork? And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. So I feel bullied and I feel attacked. <laughs> no, but I just switched back to this. I was like, okay. Mm. I probably would have left this in for a little bit longer. Like it says 10 minutes, but they're lying. I will leave it in for like 25. And my hair's just up so it doesn't get in the food or anything or near the food. Mmm. This is my favorite kind of pasta besides thin pasta or thin spaghetti. I like um, rigatoni. I feel like it goes good in any pasta dish. You know what else I would do? I would add, um, I would add Cajun seasoning to this. I think that would be really good too, to give it a little bit more of a diverse flavor. Yum. I apologize. I got on live, um, YouTube live on Saturday and I got really, really, really drunk and I randomly logged off and I was like, I'm gonna walk it out. Does anybody else get super drunk and they just decide to walk it out? They're like, oh, kind of like when you're in pain and you like hit your knee and you just start running. I do that too because it like, I feel like for me, it distracts me from the pain, but I was just really drunk and I'm like, I'm gonna walk it out. So I go outside and I'm just like walking around my <laughs> complex and I see this couple making out and I'm like, like staring at them and they, they see me staring at them and I just like start walking down the stairs and they're like, look at this freak. They were probably thinking that and they just started walking off and I was like, wait, can I join the session? Can I join your makeout session, please? I'm just kidding. That would be really creepy. They probably already thought I was creepy. So they left and they went back inside and I was like, damn, I'm all alone again. Mm. You know, cheese makes any dish good. So like if your dish is always like, if you find your dishes are coming out crappy, just throw some cheese in there and you're good to go. Like everyone's like, wow, this is so good. And it's like, yeah, I put like a pound of cheese in there. But no, this is really good. I like it. I'm not, I don't remember what I talked about on YouTube Live. Someone said I cried. <laughs> Sounds about right. I've been really emotional lately, so me crying is nothing out of the ordinary. I also talked about I also talked about one of my um, things no never mind I'm not gonna talk about it it's so embarrassing never mind anyway it's almost the 4th of July mmm 
Um, so I'm going to be going over to my grandma's house and she's going to be making hot dogs and all this other stuff that you eat on the 4th of July. And here I am eating this like the day before the 4th of July. So, you know, wise choices, guys. Wise choices. Yummy. I ran out of paper towels, <laughs> so I have to use this microfiber cloth that I use for cleaning. Let's hope I don't die from all the chemicals. Can we please talk about 90 Day Fiance the other way? Because I just watched the recent episode where Corey traveled all the way to like be with his wife, he left everything. He sold his car, he told his parents, you know what, screw being Mormon, I'm going to live with my girlfriend in Ecuador. And guess what, he gets there and she's like, you can take the bus. And I was like, excuse me, girl, he gave away everything and you're gonna tell him to take the bus. And he's like, I could get robbed. And she's like, so? And then her and her family were joking about it. They're like, what if he gets mugged? And they're like, ha ha ha, mm mm. I don't like this girl and I really hope that she says she's not going to marry him so I hope that she hurries up and dumps him so he can go back to living his life without her because she is, I mean, honestly insane. <laughs> brought a zapper to zap away like the flies and stuff and he's like is there a plug out here and she's like no and he's like what if I get bit by a mosquito and she's like maybe your bad vibes will kill the mosquitoes or your bad attitude I was like what is wrong with this girl she does realize that he's not familiar with her culture so like it's kind of a culture shock to him so she should be understanding instead of being a bitty you know I don't get it And the fact that he's putting up with this and th these aren't red flags to him, he's a little cuckoo bananas too, you know? Hmm. I don't know everyone's name yet, but then the couple where the guy's from Qatar and the girl's like 60 and they're gonna get married. She's insane too. She's with the younger guy and most people that are with younger guys, they're with them because they have like stamina, you know what I mean? Um, but she's like, oh, he sucks in the bedroom. And I'm like, then why are you marrying him? Why did you marry him? I just don't get it. And he was saying that he blocked her on social media so she would leave him alone and she has jealousy issues. I'm like, this relationship is not going to last. And don't even get me started on, I think her name is Devin. Wow. This girl had a mental breakdown in the airport because she couldn't handle her child. Like, I don't understand why she doesn't like spank her child. And I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but if your child is acting up and they're not behaving, then you shouldn't let your child walk all over you. 
And then this poor guy wanted to have the nookie with her. And she's like, the baby sleeps in between us. And I'm like, your kid is like, how old? Five, seven? I don't know how old her kid is. But I'm like, your kid should be sleeping in their own bed. I don't get it. Maybe it's because I don't have kids and people are going to be like, you don't have kids. You don't understand. But I was reading some of the comments on the video where he said that he wanted to have sex with her. And she's like, the kid sleeps in between us. And everyone was like, they had the same thought as me. And they're like, the kids should have their own bedroom. So I'm very confused by their relationship and I don't think that he loves her. He just wants to have sex with her because she's American and supposedly Americans are easy or something like that. I don't know, but. He ended up getting stuck with the psycho. <laughs> and then there is the another older girl and the guy, he's my favorite, what is his name? He's from India. I really like him, like a lot. Their relationship is doomed too. I realized with 90 Day Fiance, a lot of the parents from like these couples, they don't approve. The family never approves. Like, is there one couple where the family approves? Because I don't think I've seen it. But I also haven't seen every season of 90 Day Fiance. And then there's the girl that has a daughter and she's moving to South Africa. Their story is kind of boring to me. I'm not a huge fan of theirs. And then the other story where the girl is pregnant and the guy is moving to Brazil. Theirs is okay. Um, I'm not really interested in their relationship either because you can tell she just doesn't care about him. She only cares about him um, sending money over for her baby that isn't born yet. And you can tell she's kind of annoyed with him and she's just like, whatever. I feel kind of bad for him because he doesn't have any money and he left his life where he didn't want to live there anyway with his mom and he has no way of going back and he got this letter um, that says that he has to go back his visa didn't get approved so I feel really bad for him. Yeah, but the show's addicting. I think the Evelyn and Corey one is the best one because it makes me so angry. <laughs> been watching um the show on freeform called the bold type and i think that show's really good i feel like i'm friends with them <laughs> do you ever watch a show and you just feel like it's real life like you get so involved with the characters this hasn't happened to me in a long time but you get so involved with the characters that you forget that it's a show and you feel like it's real life and they actually like work at a magazine and they're actually best friends like i was so involved with the show I watched the first two seasons in like three days. 
And I'm like, wow, I just love this show. I want to be friends with them, but then I forget it's not real. This is so good. I love breadsticks or bread knots. I could eat those like the Olive Garden breadsticks. Mm. I stuck to my promise of uploading uh, once a week, at least in June, so I'm really proud of that. Oh my god, look how long this cheese is. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Does anybody else like find it really gross? Like if you're still chewing and you take a drink? I do, but I just did that, so. Oopsie. I'm gonna go out this weekend and let's hope I don't leave early. I'm gonna try to make friends and be that awkward person that's like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna like squeeze in between the group of friends and I'm gonna be like, hey guys, what's up? Want a drink? It's not on me, but like, it's on you. Cause I'm broke, but maybe I'll find like a cute guy to buy my drink. I don't know. So like if you live in Dallas, like come hang out with me. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Yum. If you guys want more seafood recipes, let me know in the comments down below. I can make more. I feel like I'm like, oh, kind of out of ideas. I kind of want to make a green bean casserole. My mom's like, make a green bean casserole. And I'm like, that sounds great. Green bean casserole in July, why not? Okay, I think I'm done, but hopefully I don't have spinach in my teeth. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a safe 4th of July. Remember to lock your doors and put your porch lights on because 4th of July is the number one time of year where you get robbed. My house got robbed on the 4th of July when I was younger. It's scary. Just be safe. Don't drink and drive don't do any of that hoopla um don't do drugs and stay out of jail you know the usual um yeah have a great day week i'll see you in my next video bye peace